and from the lottery and, and hey, well, I taught us the first day. I, I wasn't under any pressure to come to the school or anything like that and I got an A and an L and plus and people were sort of asking me why I didn't go to a grammar school or anything like that but I, I always felt that it would be a massive waste of my Irish if it, if it didn't move on to a second level education and hopefully after college the first will move on to a third level education because the Irish language has always given me a massive boost and massive confidence and something else to separate me from the pack. Whenever I'm with people, it gives you a competitive edge, it gives you an advantage in sport and other things. If, if there's someone on your team who knows Irish, you can share that with them and, and it, it keeps you apart from other people. It gives you your own heritage and it gives you um, I don't know, something, some just a complete edge over other people who don't have two languages. It's always been said that people with two languages have a massive advantage and it's definitely prevalent now in the Irish society. Um, it's Michelle Neve McGillary and I'm head girl at College de Fersha. Um, being head girl is a big responsibility and the interview process to get the position originally was daunting and everybody asked why was I doing it when I was also doing four A levels. But I think myself and all of the heads that were appointed to the various duties all did it because this is our last year in the school and we'd like to be a bigger part of it and do something that'll last even after we leave. So it's good to have and to help out and as I said we do work with the teachers and when events are held in the school we're there as representatives and it's nice to be chosen to do that, to just welcome people and show them the Irish language and how it's grown and prospered over the years in the school and in the outside community. I was going to say that 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 I was to be principal of college to was going to say was set up 20 years ago now with only six pupils in one room, a couple of teachers, absolutely no funding. We've made huge advances since then. We're now in this marvellous building. Um, we, in terms of our curriculum, have expanded it immensely to 26 subjects at GCSE, 18 subjects at A level, and that's contributed to the big leaps that we've made in terms of our standards, in terms of the results that our pupils get. We are now among the top schools in the north in terms of GCSE results when benchmarked against similar schools. Similar results at A level, A stars, A's, in a wide range of subjects from drama and sport to the sciences, physics, maths, that type of, of subject. So we're very, very proud of what we've done here and of our pupils. It happened because we've got great committed parents, we've got a good teaching staff and we very, very good relations within the school between teachers and pupils and between teachers and parents. And it's relationships at the end of the day that make an organisation work. Uh, for the future, we're expanding our curriculum constantly into new areas, new areas that have never done before in Irish. We're looking at new building programmes in terms of a sports centre, which will be done in, in partnership with the local community. Um, we're looking at a new technology block. But most of all, we're looking at how we can improve our pastoral care system even more in terms of giving our pupils leadership qualities and, and building on those leadership qualities and encouraging them to be active uh, participants within their own community and within the Irish media community. And that bodes very well for the future. It's exciting times. Um, I'm very glad to be here. Um, and I think College of Forest is going to continue to make a big mark in this city.